Chapter 1. The Monster in the Mirror This was it. He was right behind the door. He could hear the bastard's laughter. The nightmare known as the Joker would soon be no more. Joseph was finally given what he had always wanted, shoot-to-kill permissions. The organization had ordered him to take down Joker by any means necessary. Joker had gone too far this time. Joker had hidden three bombs somewhere in Gotham City, demanding a $50 million ransom for the location of their whereabouts. At the same time, he had kidnapped the mayor of Gotham himself for extra insurance. While Batman handled finding and disarming the bombs, Joseph had been dispatched to find the mayor and stop the Joker. The clown made it easy, hiding out in an abandoned funhouse. You never were too bright, clowny. Joseph said quietly, cocking his pistol. He had waited long enough. It was time. He breached the door. The sound of the explosion was near deafening. As the bombs hidden behind the door were all tripped all at once, Joseph, still somewhat behind the door, was thrown into the opposite wall, taking most of the door with him. As the flames of the explosion engulfed the building, Joseph did his best to shield himself from the blast using the door. You motherfucker! Joseph screamed as the flames licked at the exposed parts of his body behind the door. How could have he not at least considered this? Joker was known for his sick humor. It was just like him to bait someone into a trap like this. As the initial blast subsided, Joseph pulled the door away from himself. He had some minor burns here and there, mostly on his legs. His mask was also slightly charred. Ugh. I'll live, he thought to himself. But that fucking clown is dead. He looked around. The hallway was charred black with a few fires here and there. Got to give Gotham credit. They know how to build a sound structure. Joseph mused quietly. Joseph walked back to the doorway. He planned to look around. Maybe he could find something that would give him a clue as to where the clown was really hiding, though he doubted it. The room was destroyed. It could barely even be called a room. Only bits of wall were left, exposing it to the cool winter air of Gotham City. Fuck. Nothing to go on. Well, looks like the bastard got away again, Joseph mused as the wind picked up. As Joseph headed for the doorway, an odd scent hit his nose. An odd but familiar scent. And this particular scent made his blood run cold. No. Joseph ran back into the room and started sifting through the rubble. He frantically dug, praying he was wrong. He pulled away one last piece of rubble, and his heart caught in his throat. He turned away and pulled down his mask, spitting up. There, lying in the rubble, was what was left of Mayor Grange's corpse. It had been blown to bits by the bombs. He was nothing but a charred head and torso, limbs obliterated by the blast. There was no blood, the wounds had been cauterized by the flames of the explosion. But what made everything so much worse was he was smiling. He had been Joker gassed, and his charred face was frozen in a rictus grin. Uh, it was him. I heard him laughing, not Joker. Joseph had seen some fucked up things in his life, but this was by far the worst. And he had caused it. Unknowingly. But he was the reason this man was dead. He dropped to his knees. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it! Joseph screamed, slamming his fists repeatedly into the cement floor. His knuckles were bruised and bloody once he was done. Joseph stood up, exhaling sharply, and pulled out his cell phone. He dialed a number. Uh, this is Ravengeist. The mission was a failure, Joker set us up. The bombs he demanded ransom for, he planted the bombs in this building. There was a pause. No, sir. The mayor was here as well. Another longer pause. KIA, sir. The bombs were detonated and he was caught in the blast. Another much longer pause. 
Yes, sir. I will report back immediately to base. Joseph hung up. He couldn't believe it. How could he have fucked up so badly? Because of his recklessness, he had gotten an innocent man killed. And not just any, the mayor of Gotham City. He pulled his mask back on and headed for the exit, only to find it blocked by a large amount of rubble. Fuck. I take back what I said about Gotham making sound structures. Now what do I do? Joseph asked himself. As he surveyed the broken-down funhouse, his eyes fell on a sign saying, Maze of Mirrors, with it saying Exit in a small print underneath. Maybe that means if I take the maze, it will eventually lead outside, Joseph surmised. Joseph headed down the maze, surrounded by mirrors on all sides. The light in the maze was dim, and all the mirrors distorted his image in one way or another. Okay, this is creepy. I may be a juggalo, but even I have my limits on this creepy carnival shit. Can I please just find this fucking exit? I'm about to start shooting these mirrors. I've been traumatized enough for one day. That's when Joseph heard what sounded like a clown's laugh. It startled him at first, but then it occurred to him, Joker could still be here. So, clowny, you are still here. Well, you should have gotten away when you had the chance, Joseph said, drawing his pistols. He heard the laugh a second time, and then he heard a raspy voice from behind him clearly say, Guess again. Joseph spun around ready to put a bullet in whoever was behind him. He was dumbfounded by what he saw. It was him, or what looked like him. He was staring at a mirror, and in the mirror was a nightmarish version of himself. Joseph first noticed its clothes. The thing's clothing was similar to his own, with only one very big difference. The sleeves of its jacket were long and flowing, like something you'd see on a mental patient wearing an unbuckled straitjacket. And its pants were also very similar, save for the chains hanging off of them. As his eyes wandered upwards, he noticed a difference in the jewelry as well. Instead of Joseph's signature hatchet man, this thing was wearing a razor blade hanging off a chain of barbed wire? Finally, Joseph's eyes fell upon the thing's face which was near identical to his own masked one. The only difference was its eyes, which were pitch black voids with glowing red-orange pinpoints. He was going to chalk it up as probably the best trick mirror he had ever seen. That is, until the thing in the mirror's smile widened and its eyes narrowed, making it clear it was looking directly at Joseph. Hello, Joey, it said. Joseph's eyes widened behind his mask, and if he had any color, it would have left his face. His fucking twisted reflection was talking to him. The thing in the mirror seemed to sense Joseph's terror. It laughed, shaking its head. Scared? Well, you'd be crazy not to be. Oh, wait! (laughs) Who are you? Joseph asked, aiming one of his guns at the mirror. As he did, the twisted reflection raised his own weapon, a blood-stained hatchet with a wicked grin emblazoned on the side of the blade in the same position. What the fuck? Joseph said, confused. Getting it yet, Joey? What are you staring at? A fucking mirror. I'm you, the thing told him. That's impossible. I'm me. This doesn't make any sense, Joseph said, sounding distraught. Oh, It makes more sense than you might think. But never mind that. You've been having a pretty shitty day, haven't you? Yeah. Why? Well, that's why I'm here. To cheer you up. You're always so serious, so worried about everything. What do you mean? Like the mayor. It's not your fault he's dead. It's Joker's. You were just trying to help. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it just so happens, so is the mayor. Why blame yourself? It was my mission, but I guess you have a point. See? That's what I'm talking about. And let me guess. You called your boss, and they want you to be held accountable for this. Yeah, 
Actually, they're suspending me until further notice. Until they have proof that the explosion couldn't be prevented. See? What kind of bullshit is that? You could have died in that explosion because of their lack of intel. Instead, they're pinning their negligence on you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They're to blame. Ah, oh, not me. Fucking assholes. Blaming their stupidity on me. Hey, what's your name? Joseph asked, grinning behind his mask. The creature in the mirror smiled broadly. Call me Grin! As he did, the twisted reflection raised its own, own weapon. As he did, the twisted reflection raised its oh, fucking hell. <laughs>